Do you know who Bruce Lee is? One of the best martial arts people of all time, very famous. He once said he is not afraid of the person who's worked on a hundred kicks. He's afraid of the individual who's worked on one kick 100 times. No, we're not going to be talking about martial arts or kicking in this video, but what he is saying here does apply to your shot. We're going to be talking about consistency with your shot and how to become a more consistent shooter with our shot preparation. Stay tuned, let's jump into it. So when we are shooting the ball, we do not want to think about a hundred different ways to shoot. We want to shoot the ball one way and work on that hundreds if not thousands of times. We want our body to know what it feels like to shoot a consistent ball over and over again that produces the result of the ball going into the basket. So how can we work on this? This goes back to our shot preparation you need to be prepared to shoot the ball before it comes to you. Do not be standing straight up, and when that ball comes to you, you now have to bend down. That's gonna take time, it's gonna take energy, it's gonna create inconsistency. So we want to eliminate all the extra factors involved with our shot. Here are some things that you can eliminate in order to increase your consistency. First, eliminate inconsistent bend with your legs. If you're bending super far down sometimes, other times you barely bend at all, you've added inconsistency. It's gonna be different every single time and your body's not gonna know always how to adjust. So find a very comfortable bend that you can replicate over and over again. Next, I want you to get rid of, at least decrease the amount of dip when you go to shoot. So if I get a pass here, I want to eliminate all of this dip. As I bring the ball down, there's room for air as I bring it down. Meaning I could go a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right. It's gonna be inconsistent. If I go down a little bit this way, now as I bring it up, it's gonna be in a different path. Decrease and do your best to eliminate the dip as much as possible. I wanna have my knees bent, I wanna try to catch it high, and I wanna try to keep it high, and then I wanna go at the basket. By eliminating the dip, I've decreased the amount of error in my shot. The next factor for consistency is when you actually start going and shooting it at the rim. We want to try to eliminate a ton of movement going up and behind our head. Do I release it here? Do I keep going and bring it in it back? And now you're adding different factors. It's gonna make your release point inconsistent and you will not be able to shoot a basketball the same way over and over and over again. So as you get ready to shoot and you have that comfortable bend and you've decreased the amount of dip, you now wanna think about going at the basket. As I rise up, my elbows beginning to extend and I'm thinking about going at the basket. This way I don't have to overthink where my release point is. I'm thinking about shooting it on the way up. The less variables involved in your shot, the more consistent you will be. Consistency is one of the most important aspects to becoming a great shooter. Whether it's your legs, whether it's your elbow, whether it's the dip, or whether it's something else, I want you to film yourself and to then really break down where the inconsistencies are. Here's a drill that will help you out. I want you to work on simply spinning the ball to yourself, working on catching and shooting. But I'm working on everything that we've talked about. My knees are gonna be bent, my elbow's gonna be locked and loaded, I'm gonna to try to decrease the dip, and I'm gonna think about going at the basket, not too much behind my head. So to summarize it up, think about what you're doing that's inconsistent all the time. Decrease the amount of variables in your shot in order to increase your overall consistency. Use the spin the ball method and have your legs down, have your arms up, have your elbow locked and loaded, and when you catch it, one motion at the rim. If you've learned anything in this video and you're looking to become a better shooter, hit the subscribe button down below. I post videos every single week about basketball shooting, training and your overall mentality my goal on this channel is to get you to become the best player that you can become thanks for watching i'll see you on the next video